Greetings and welcome back to the channel. In the last episode, we saw me get the keys cut into the cranks after making some lovely bushes. They turned out really well. I still need to uh, make a shim and just take a little bit more off. Other than that, perfect. Next, we need to start working on the crank pins, which are quite important. So let's dive in and crack on. So I've got a piece of 25mm EN8 in the four jaw chuck so I can get it closer uh, than the three jaw chuck and I'm pretty happy with the results so far it seems to be around half a thou this bar is actually 24.96 uh, which is perfect for the bearings so I'll just face off the end and I'll just check a bearing on it which is the exact size point one one that's close enough So that is the rear crank pins done. Obviously, they still need to be pressed into the cranks, but we'll do that later. To any. Hang on, yay! I need a tool to put a circlip groove. As we all know, we are on a very tight budget here in the workshop. I've come up with an idea to make one myself. At the club, I liberated from the sales this piece of quarter inch by five sixteenths high speed steel, which will do perfectly for grinding into a tool for the groove. But this is a little small for my lathe. Yeah, it's a bit bit small. So going through my scrap pile I found this piece of metal. It's two inches by one inch and it's about four inches long. And that is what I'm going to make the body out of. And we're going to make the high speed steel sit in to this piece of steel and then that can go in the lathe. That's the plan. Let's go! <laughs>
35 wide, 24 deep, 100 mil long. I'm gonna put a slot in the side to accept this piece of HSS. But I'd like to get it so I don't really need to set the lathe up. So to get it close as I can, I'm just gonna put a mark on using the lathe. So with the block in the tool post, I'm gonna use the end of my revolving center just to put a line on. So I know that where the height of the tool really needs to be. It doesn't need to be a big deep line, it just needs to put a mark so we can put a measurement. Now I don't know if you can see the see the mark at all but it's 10 mil. It's 10 mil from the top. So we need a slot from that 10 mil down towards the bottom that's 10 13. Bang on where we need it.
use the new tool. That's good enough to me. Bobby Dazzler. Wow, what a tool. I'm quite impressed with myself. I've managed to get that uh, to work. I've not ground a tool for a very long time. Uh, and I just kind of winged it really. Uh, there is a bit of angles and stuff that you need to know, but for putting the grooves in the crank pins, it's done a really good job. We now have all the crank pins for the locomotive. We have the cranks, we have the axles and the wheel sets. So really now, we just need to get it all together. I'll see you in the next video then. Laters!